guy on the, on the right. I'd even say Chunks on his day, man. He's Absolutely. got a bit of flair to himself. And then on team, uh, oh of course, God, I would follow a little pass. Great pass by Sorry to interrupt you there. We have Tay on the right hand side. Tay skip past his player. Tay! Basically what I was just saying there, Team Chunks has the artists on the pitch, and that's a wonderfully worked goal, brilliant play from individuals, and finished off expertly by Anders. 1-0, and to be fair, it's probably deserved. I know, absolutely. As you mentioned, another trait of Arsene awesome Wenger teams. Oh, they've, uh, they've said, oh, oh, it's Billy Wink. It is Billy Wink, brilliant play. Do you know what the problem is? Both men have their air. They yeah. tried to confuse us like Brazil did in the World Cup. Impossible. They tried to confuse us. But there we go. It was Billy Wingo who passed the ball out there for Anders. So we do have that confirmed. Anders, who in training was equally as impressive. He's the counter-attacking opportunities here. Phileas is relishing this matchup here. Uh, he's so technically secure. I think you also look at AJ, right? Brilliant footballer, but not really oh an outlaw no, defender. Kaka, Kaka breezes Kaka. past every change. Kaka. Kaka with a chance. Oh! oh! It's a fantastic goal. By Ricardo Kaka with his traditional celebration. The only Ballon d'Or winner on the pitch shows exactly why that's the case. That is absolutely brilliant from Ricardo Kaka. AC Milan legend, Brazilian legend, a World Cup winner, and he's just shown his class in abundance for Team Abu Fala. It's a fantastic goal, well worked. As we mentioned already, the counter-attacking opportunity will be there, and it's Philly with a great little pass to Kaka. Then it's all Kaka, and he's a great defender, but our first touch is brilliant. Waits and waits and waits, and to get past that Senegal partnership is only easy for one player. And that is Ricardo Kaka. I mean, obviously, Angry Jins being a diehard Man United fan will know all about what Ricardo Kaka can do against Man United defenders. And ladies and gentlemen, Gabriel Heinze, Patrice Evra, Angry Jins, welcome to the club. Distance, But perhaps going for the more cute approach today. No surprise. No matter what the occasion was, Ricardo Kaka having a smile on his face on the football pitch. Absolutely. That's what you know him for. So many people would have said that is a player that they would one of their favorites to ever play the game of football. I mean, when you talk about players that are basically universally loved, Kaka is at the front of it. And it's a huge chance from the corner! Ivan! And wow! It's a great goal scored by Ivan! Beautiful set piece, the corner whipped in from Didier Drogba, and the boy Sharky with the assist, and Ivan coming onto the pitch, affecting the game, has scored for Team Abu Fala. The name of the game for Iman is goals, man. It's goals, goals, goals. He is a consistent threat. But could that potentially have gone off Harry Pinero? Ooh, we'd have to look at another angle of that one here. As Sharky gets the ball across, mm. potentially, it's, there's a discrepancy. Look, Iman will, e e will be claiming that every single day of the week. Absolutely, he will not be happy. But I think the truth has to be said. I think that does last come off Harry Pinero and might unfortunately go down as an own goal for someone who's already... Spam on their Instagram, but it's often the players that just give you the simple moments. Brilliant from Hazard. David and Pinero! with the shot! A man who has scored in Champions League finals almost identically as you have just witnessed with your own eyes has done it again here at the Ahmed bin Ali Stadium in Doha, Qatar for Team Chunks. David Villa, Spain's all-time top goal scorer, adding another to his repertoire. And ladies and gentlemen, you give this man any amount of space, even an inkling from this far out, and it's a goal every single day of the week. Casper Lee stands no chance. And he's been so brilliant so far, but when David Villa is shooting at you from the edge of the box, can we talk about Eden Hazard's run up to that? It's so, so good. Skips past a couple of players, waits for them to freeze and rolls the ball. Gets that ball there and David Villa does the rest. We talk Jenny about continuing to do his job. Man, when you get a situation like that where Eden Hazard produces a moment of magic there. It's a and brilliant cross of the ball by Chunks. Trian! And it's a brilliant finish from Charles Trian! The Algerian man does it again. Expert filmmaker. Expert finisher. It's a wonderful finish there. We've seen similar goals in the Premier League from Trossard against Liverpool on the left hand side, making sure he makes good contact on the ball. And Casper Lee unfortunately concedes the goal just through his legs at the near post. Like I said, Casper Lee's done a great job with some of the saves that he's had. He's been beaten by some really good goals.
It's absolutely brilliant from Team Chunks, honestly. Again, you talk about the individual talent that these guys have. Drogba here, looking like he'll go for a long throw. He has beaten the HP. first man. And penalty. penalty! The referee has pointed towards there the penalty. There must have been something that happened a off the ball. A quick tangle of legs. It seemed like there was something that happened to the ball. We'll have a look at the replay, but the referee is in no doubt. It looks like yeah. Harry Pinero and Abu Fala have gone to an exchange. Oh, Abu Fala's bought that. It's... Harry's just got his arm across. Nah. Oh, no. Nah. That's poor from Abu Fala. <laughs> he's gone for it. He's stepping up to this penalty now. David Vianic. Trying to replicate Jersey Dudek. His legendary performance in 2005. Abu Fela to give his team lift off. Sensational goal by the man of the hour. Abu Fela, a captain's goal. Swimming for the fans. Fantastic penalty. He might have bought it, but it's a well, well taken penalty. I mean, absolutely. But when your manager is Antonio Conte, you are taught the dark arts. And of course, we see here. The boys replicating Mohamed Kadus's famous uh, celebration for West Ham. But when you're managed by Antonio Conte, you're taught win at all costs. Period. That's winning at all costs. Absolutely. It was just wrong. He just wrong footed Vuj there slightly. Team Abu Fola might have changed into a, a back three. Oh? In typical Antonio Conte fashion. This is brilliant play. Didier Drogba gets it back from Philly. Drogba! Whoa! Brilliant! Drogba does it again! A man we know for many goals in many different stages has scored the goal in this wonderful stadium, in this wonderful game. When it comes to big games, it doesn't get much better than Didier Drogba. And that is a huge moment in the mercurial career of the King of Africa. What a moment. Sensational play there. Oh, young Philly. Wow, the that link up play is special, oh. it's Kaka, Philly, Drogba, what a goal, Philly turns away almost in disgust when he sees this strike by Didier Drogba on his left foot, never in doubt, sensational strike, a sensational footballer, showing off his sensational skill. And Drogba is delighted with that look right there, people, people might be thinking that these legends are just here for... Uh, Tai. Tai. Finds himself Shoot in the box. Head to the box. Excellent. Alfie. And an angry change. Oh, it's brilliant. It's angry changes goal. The boy from Manchester has managed to score in this match for Hull. Team Abu are crying for offside, but angry Jins won't care. Unmarked at the back post and pulls off the Marcus Rashford. You love to see it. He's played an exceptional game in defense. Bar that opening moment against Kaka, which we questioned, how would he respond? He's responded with an exemplary defensive performance and a goal of his own. And game I'll, on. And I'll be wrong not to talk about the contribution by Exetino there. He's made a, such a smart run that deal, couldn't say no to. He's got a really good contact on it, and it was probably going in, but the positioning from Angry Jins there as a center half in the final third is fantastic to tap it in. And it looks like Philly is unfortunately playing them all on side. If that's the case, he's got a chance to take on another. He's got Johnny Carey on his right side. Good he's come to the Teo. left. David Villa. He's found David Villa. Eden Hazard. David Eden Hazard. He's got another chance. Sends Stockton the wrong way. Hazard! Oh! What a moment from Eden Hazard! And that one's been coming. Thogden has faced Hazard time and time and time again. And he's been lucky a few times, but this time he's not. Eden Hazard gets a well-deserved goal. What a moment for the mercurial talent. A fantastic goal from one of the Premier League's greatest ever players as he gets his shoes polished by Tao. Fantastic goal, Tao driving with the ball forward there. David Villa gets it out wide, Eden Hazard fakes it on his left hand side. And we've seen that finish plenty of times in the Chelsea show, haven't we? It's a signature move, man. When he cuts in on that right, very few over the last 10 years are as much of a threat as Eden Hazard. It looks like Timo Fuller is going to make a change. We've got Agent 0 0. From the back, with immense leadership. I wouldn't say locked up Didier Drogba because Drogba has scored an exquisite goal, but. Absolutely. Wow. Oh, wow. Tywo. Sorry Brilliant. to interrupt you there. Tywo's on the left hand side here. After two pieces, oh! goal. And that oh! is a brilliant goal. Could be the goal of the day. Skips past two players, but that is fantastic.
from Tao as he celebrates with the fans. He met Ronaldinho during the week here in Doha, and that's a moment that Ronaldinho would be proud of. Immense speed, immense trickery, and what a finish. Absolutely fantastic finish. I feel that most of the goals that have gone in, it's been magnificent finishes. I can't really be trying to get on to it. It's the evading of Thogden as well, the challenge oh. there. And Sharky does come across, as I said, been doing the job on oh, both sides of the Thomas ball. Oh, Thomas Bark will not want to oh. see that moment again. Wow, wow, wow. Tayo Kimura, remember the name. Wow. Fools Sharky as well, too. It looks like he's going into, for it that does. pass. It Fools does. the goalkeeper. It does. It's a fantastic finish as well. Casper Lee, who has been so good, what a he's celebration, been, by the way. So he's, he's been so lovely, good, but he's, he's been absolutely bamboozled. Has been and it's a great there. tackle from Tim Cahill, who's really playing everywhere. Big chance David Vujanic off his line. Didier Drogba. Drogba against Angry Ginge. Fancies his chances. He Drogba! Drogba! He hasn't gone down. Oh, wow. oh, that is absolutely brilliant from Didier Drogba. Oh, wow. This is what he does. Sensational finish from a sensational striker. He scored a fair share of his goals throughout his career. And with finishing like that, with calmness like that in front of goal, you can see why. And showing all respect to David Vianney twice. Absolutely, that. absolutely. I thought Angry Jim was going to go and get a penalty taken off. But listen, Jogba said, I'm going to keep playing if I can. And he did, he does, he sells him by lack of movement sometimes. Sometimes you don't need to move yourself. That's what they expect you to oh. do. Oh, wow. And walks it into the back of the net in style. Cool, calm, collected Didier Drogba. Champions League can't phase him. <laughs> no disrespect, but you think David Vianic is? Uh. Come on, man. Listen, the match for Hope is a huge stage as well, and he's proven that he's a big game player. Absolutely. He didn't know it already. Ever match for Hope. He's Hazard. Hazard. Hazard can finish the game off here. Hazard rounds the keeper. Gets me. Beats another. Plays Villa. it off to David Villa. Villa. And ladies and gentlemen, that's game over for Team Chunks. When it counts, the best players make their marks. And the two professionals for Team Chunks, David Villa and Eden Hazard, have ran the show today. I felt like Hazard felt he wanted to pass it to speed there. I think he was explaining to him what the offside was about in the middle of the game. <laughs> the ball goes back here from Villa and Hazard. And their link up, as you mentioned all already. All game has been all exemplary. All game has been telepathic almost. He was wanted to pass the speed there. The speed didn't create the angle for the pass. But David Villa would be more than happy with almost certainly closing out the game by rolling into the bottom right corner. Dare I say, pure football there from Eden Hazard and David Villa. Absolutely. Absolutely, pure football to Lincoln. Look at the way he just guides that into the bottom corner as well. Expert finish from an and expert marksman. And that is the end of the first ever match for hope in Doha Qatar in the Abid Mamid Ali Stadium as Abu Fala gets a late red card from the referee. Genuinely, what an event, what a match with so many moments. Lias, I pass it over to you for you to let us know who your man of the match has been. Absolutely, I mean, there, for me, there can only really be one man. Goal scorer. But that wasn't even his job today. His job was keeping Didier Drogba, keeping Kaka, keeping later in the game Tim Cahill at bay. And I believe that Angry Ginge, in some uh, uh, part as well thanks to his teammate Harry Pinero, but I believe Angry Ginge was imperious. A brick wall in the back for Team Chunks. And for me, my man of the match. Absolutely. And there's been so many other names. And some, every single one of the influences that had come out here. Somebody, any person who had not been playing a game like this of this kind of level, of this kind of standard of athletic ability, every single one of them can be so proud of themselves Absolutely. today. Sensational performance and a great showing, as we have always tried to remind the people, for a fantastic cause and for education above all. Yeah, and honestly, look, I think every single one of those players has left it all on the line out there. They, they, none of them will be leaving with any regrets whatsoever. And when you mention that this is, again, for charity, you always want to see players playing in a charity game to show that they care about the, the foundation at, uh, at cause here. And I think they've done a brilliant job of this. This is a huge moment for every single one of these young influencers, YouTubers, and creators' careers. 